This video introduces the interactive web-based PS program for power and sample size calculations. To run this program, enter this URL into your favorite browser which will generate this page. To do power calculations for, say, a paired t-test, click t-test and then click paired. Select power from the use an example field and then click calculate. This will produce three graphs, power versus sample size on the upper left, power versus detectable alternative on the upper right, and precision versus effect size on the bottom. These plots show that with 33 patients, we can detect a true response difference of five with 80% power and alpha equal 0.05 if the within pair standard deviation is 10. Hovering over the white eyes gives the definition of the needed inputs. A statement at the bottom of the window describes the power calculation in English. You can modify any of the fields in the dialog box except for the output power. Alternately, you can grab and drag the red or blue dots to change the calculations. Place your cursor over the red dot in the power and sample size graph. The cursor will turn into a hand. Left click and hold your mouse and drag it down to a sample size of 20. Note that the power to detect a true difference of 5 is now 0 0.57. Grab the red dot in the power versus detectable alternative graph and drag it to the left until the power equals 0.8. Note that this power is associated with a detectable alternative of minus 6.6. .6. Grab the blue dot and drag it to a detectable alternative of 4. The power to detect this alternative with a sample size of 20 is 0 0.4. Grab the lower bound of the confidence interval and drag it to 2. This increases the sample size to 98 and gives us 97% power to detect a true difference of 4. Alternately, you can change your power calculations by changing any of these fields. By playing with these graphs, you can increase your intuition of how power, sample size, and the detectable alternative are interrelated. To change the y-axis of the top two graphs, pull down the output field. You may select either sample size or detectable alternative. If you select sample size for 95% CI, you may specify the width of your 95% confidence interval, and the program will give you the desired sample size. For example, entering a sample saw a confidence interval of 2 gives a needed sample size of 385. Clicking on the log button gives you a terse description of the power calculations that you have performed. They can be cut and pasted 
into another file. By default, if we hover over one of the curves, the values of the x and y axis are displayed. If you want to turn this off, click on the icon with the three cubes. We hope that you will experiment with this program and that you will find it useful. This is Bill DuPont for the PS Software Development Team from the Department of Biostatistics at the Vanderbilt University School of Medicine.